Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to some, how to make some pulse shorteners and some pulse extenders. Now, as you can see, I have two designs here for each of them, but I will also be going over the uh, concept of these two designs. Uh, well, two uh, concepts rather, and even though they are very simple, but I will mostly be focusing on these designs and how they work and how you can implement them in your builds. Now for my inputs, for my shorteners, I'm using a lever on both of these just so I can show that it is any pulse length that is uh, obviously long because you're trying to make a long pulse shorter, just like that. And for my short uh, pulse uh, extenders, I'm going to be using observers because obviously they give out a one tick pulse. And then I'm using a repeater just to lengthen them a bit. And I'll explain that more later. But again, I'm just going to use Observer so I can show that I'm turning a one tick pulse into a longer pulse, just like that. Now that we're done with that, let's get on to the first uh, pulse shortener, as you can see right here. And this one is very simple. All it is is one sticky piston with an Observer, just like this. And that is literally it. All you need to do is run your pulse right into this. And then as you can see, this uh, lever again represents my pulse. It will give a one tick output from that observer. And then whenever your pulse turns off, again, it doesn't matter. It will just retract and do nothing more. Now, I use this specific pulse shortener in a lot of my builds. Um, even if you go back in my previous videos, you'll notice this small uh, like module, whatever you want to call it, inside of my um, other builds on my channel. But it is definitely very useful, just as this next one is. Though this next one is quite a bit larger, it uh, does have this little formation here with a torch on the back of a solid block with a redstone dust, two redstone repeaters, another redstone dust, and then another repeater into wherever we're going off with this. Now this design actually doubles as a T flip-flop and a uh, pulse shortener. And the way you can tell the difference is if I pull out a repeater right here, and change this into an observer. If you have a two tick pulse and run it into here, as you can see, it is actually a T flip flop due to this locking repeater right here. And so when it gets a signal that is two ticks long, it will uh, permanently output until it gets another input that is two ticks long, just like that. This design also acts as a pulse shortener because if I go back to my lever just like that and then again hold it down, as you can see, it will give a one tick output and it will not give another output until the signal turns off and it will not uh, give an output um, as long as it is not a two tick pulse. And if it is a one tick pulse, it does nothing. As you can see, if I can do it, it does nothing because a one tick pulse doesn't really activate the torch all the way. Now this design works off of locking repeaters and a little bit of timing magic, but like I said, this design is pretty good and this does work in um, the Bedrock Edition, so does this one. Um, obviously it works in Java because that's what I am in, but one small difference is a feature that a lot of people surprisingly don't know about, but that is that in the Java Edition of Minecraft, when you have a sticky piston with a block just like this, and it receives a one tick pulse just like this, it will spit out its block. This does not work in Bedrock Edition. So I get a lot of people on my videos wondering why this doesn't work in Bedrock, but this is just not a feature in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. It is only in Java Edition where the pistons can spit out their blocks like that. But these do work in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. They just shorten the pulse to one tick, but they do not spit out the block like in Java Edition. Now on to our pulse extenders. This first one here is what I would call like a shorter pulse extender, if that makes sense. It extends um, any length pulse into a longer pulse, but it gets very big if you want to have a very long pulse. And the second one actually takes a uh, pulse and it makes it very, very long. And you can make this extremely, extremely long, and I'll show you how to do that later. But again, this first design, as you can see, all I've done is I've taken two repeaters that are four ticks with blocks, just like this, so they run in a line, but then I've taken a redstone line that runs right next to this, and then that's my output. And so, as you can see, I'm right now giving a one tick input, but it is actually giving an eight tick long output into that lamp, as you can see over there. And that is because 
uh, the lamp is activating for four ticks from this repeater right here, but it is also activating four ticks later from this repeater, and so it is actually eight total ticks. And so what you can do if you want to make it a little bit shorter is you can like shorten this to two ticks. Now it's a six tick pulse. And um, similarly you could like um, add some more repeaters just like this. And now I can make it a 12 tick pulse. Just need to lengthen the redstone more just like that. And now we have a 12 tick pulse just like that. Now onto this longer pulse extender. What I have right here is two comparators facing in opposite directions, two redstone dust on one side and then one redstone dust on the other with one of the comparators facing into a block just like that so it's making a little circle. And then as you can see if I give it a uh, two tick input actually that's why this repeater is here with two ticks because a one tick input as you can see here just like this literally does nothing because it needs to be a little bit longer. That is one downside to this uh, particular uh, particular uh, pulse extender. It does need to be a little bit longer, but as you can see, if I give it to this, as you can see, it stays on for quite a while before turning off, just like that. Now for this particular design, there are multiple different ways to either make it longer or shorter. And so one way to make it shorter is to get rid of this block and replace it with the redstone dust so it actually makes this kind of oval shape. And what we can do is then take an output from that. And then as you can see, it is still quite long but quite a bit shorter. Now what we can do to make it a little bit longer is break this redstone dust here and then actually add more comparators just like this and make a, another oval that is longer just like this. And again, to make it even um, even longer, you could replace this with a block just like that. Now the way this works is that each one of these comparators actually uses one tick when it transmit its pul transmits its pulse length, but at this section with two, it loses one signal strength. And so every time this goes around, right now it's going it's going to use four ticks and then lose one signal strength. And so it'll go around. 15 or 16 times and because of the signal strength and then it'll go into this lamp that entire time but one thing that you do need to keep in mind when it uh, using this particular build is if you make this extremely long say you need a very very long pulse like this one thing you need to keep in mind is that if you want a steady pulse this will not work with this two tick output as you can see right here. It's going to go around and work but it'll be flashing like that and it'll give you multiple outputs and I've seen a lot of people try to do this and wonder why their builds don't work. But what you gotta do is usually use one of these right here or a smaller version of this to actually power it so it goes all the way around. So as you can see if I just take a smaller version of this we'll use this one You'll have to check different uh, lengths of this to make sure it works. And I'll wait for this to, here, I'll actually just do that. Because that will last a long time. But if I do this, we know this one will work off two ticks. And if I do this, as you can see, this pulse extender lasts out. Oh, and it actually didn't work all the way. But in this case, it worked because it's only one tick. And the redstone lamp takes one tick to turn off. But, so what I would do is I would just, um change this to a block so it's a little bit longer and so it actually can go all the way around oh, place that back before it turns off and it should stay solid like this and as you can see it should slowly decay in signal strength and then eventually it will turn off after it goes through this one tick delay like I was saying all the way around before losing one signal strength and then the one tick delay all the way down again. So as we can see here, now it's turned off, and there we go. We turned a uh, two-tick pulse into a larger pulse, which then made it into a very, very large pulse, as you could see there. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. I make videos just like this one every single Friday, and I'll see you in the next one.